<laughs> what the hell? There's so many quetzes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're fighting the poor little juvie. Don't kill that little juvie, you guys. Come on. You guys are so mean. Oh, my God. It's a feeding frenzy. Ah, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. Huh? Come on. I can't believe I went from wanting to not kill the Juvie to wanting to kill it. Ow, I'm getting hit. Did they fix my hitbox or something? Oh, look at that. This guy died. So, I think in the last Quetz video I did, I had shown you guys, uh, well, I told you guys at least that you could die as a Quetz, and if you did die as the Quetz, stop trying to bite my ear. Um, and if you did die as the Quetz, this is what happened, because it had no real death animation or ragdolling or anything. So, basically, that right there is what happens, or I tried to explain it anyways, you just stand in place and nothing really special happens to you. But either way, welcome back to the aisle. Today, we are playing as the friendly li no, no, not not friendly little, the friendly not so little Quetz. After all the information you guys gave me about this guy, I feel like an expert on it now, and I know it's like the size of a freaking giraffe, but... Either way, guys, if you enjoy the aisle, please remember to leave a like on the video because it helps me out tremendously and I appreciate it an absolute dick ton. So, we're going to fly around as this guy because a lot of people wanted to see more Quetz gameplay and we're going to talk about the aisle and uh, we're going to talk about different things that are going on currently because there's a lot of weird stuff, guys. Like, there is a ton of weird stuff. There's like, I, I assume they would be like hacked servers and stuff because... That's the only way I can describe it. Right now we're playing as a Quetz, but I don't even think it's supposed to be accessible because, uh, well, for one, since last patch, the database was locked down with some hash fielding or something. So basically it generates a unique code for each account and each character, which means if you mess with the database and you try to change someone, uh, it won't verify that, no or it won't verify the numbers you put in and thus you cannot be set to it. Like it authenticates it and if it doesn't match or whatever, well then you just can't set someone to whatever I'm getting. Oh my God, my screen just filled with updates. Holy, sh or uh, invites, holy shit. And this is where it gets weird because there's sandbox servers right now that are up, servers allowing you to play as the quest, which is really weird because like we, we we're not supposed to have access to this content right now we're not supposed to have access to the quests there's there's sandbox servers that allow you to spawn in as whatever even though the game is only progression based right now and i have concerns about it but i also i also am in support of it in a way because like when it comes to the aisle people want what they want and people are going to find a way to get what they want no matter what um, so, like, if people want Sandbox, they're going to find a way to get Sandbox back into the game. If people enjoy that aspect of the, aspect of the game, well, then that's what they're going to do. They're going to bring Sandbox back, whether it be by, um, editing the game files or just changing things to make it happen, even if that's not what the developers want. And it's, it's good and bad, I think, because it shows that people have passion for the game, but it also shows a bit of disrespect towards the developers because it's not what the developers wish or, or want to see right now. Now that said, um, obviously some servers are abiding by it and and uh, and not you know setting their stuff back and and doing whatever. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, what what do you do as a developer now? Do you give the people what they want and give them the ability to have sandbox servers, or do you not do that? And like it's it's a really weird area because like if you give the ability to have sandbox back when you're trying to test progression and stuff, well, I mean, how do you develop the game? How do you how do you make this game move forward if people aren't playing it the way that it's intended? Because the aisle is not supposed to be anything with the sandbox. It's supposed to be a survival, a survival based game. So like if people are playing these sandbox servers, they're not experiencing the bugs of the game. They're not reporting the bugs of the game. They're not doing anything other than doing what I'm doing right now, basically, which is just flying around randomly. And well, granted, people aren't rambling on about this right now, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. At the moment, it seems like I have a little posse of followers. We're going to be doing uh, some death and destruction. I don't even actually. I don't think we are because I don't think we can kill anything. But yeah, I, I mean, I think it puts the the players and the developers at odds because, like, what do, what did the developers do? Do they give people what they want, or do they make the game work the way that is intended? For me, I think it's like it's a double edged sword because, like. I, I love the Isle, and I think it's going to be an incredible game. I mean, I, I say this to almost everyone, and I think it's going to be a top, a top competitor for uh, ARK once this game is released. I think it's going to be something incredible and completely different compared to what, um, what people have seen so far. And I'm saying that because I've gotten to speak with Dondi many times 
I found out so much stuff about this game, what's going to be in the game, and how the gameplay is going to be, um, be affected with different updates and changes. And just, like, it's information I can't share with you guys because, like, I, I, I made the promise that I would not release anything that I know about what's going to happen to the game unless I was authorized to do so. So, like... I know the Isle is going to be a top competitor with the with Ark or Primal Survival or whatever, but it's it's coming down to like I don't know how these these servers that are allowing people to do whatever they want are going to affect the development process because obviously it has to have have some effect because they had to I think it, I'm not sure if it was Deathly Rage or if it was Dondi himself, but obviously a developer had to spend time encoding the database and. Encoding the database basically means, you know, what I said before with the, the hash fields and stuff, where a random number is generated, uh, well, a random set of numbers and, and letters are uh, generated every time you make a character and associated to your account that they're authorized and stuff. I'm assuming that's how it works anyways. I'm not a coder, but this is the only way that I can think of that makes sense to me. Uh, that or it's verified somehow inside the game, the game's own database or something. Actually, I feel like this video is all over the place. So, basically, the, the idea behind this video, you guys, is... I guess it's more of an opinion, because I have my own opinion, you guys will have your own opinion, and I guess the general idea is that, um, what, what do you think is right when it comes to a game like this? Because the developers have locked the database down, and obviously, the Isle is intended to be played in a certain way. It's not supposed to be a sandbox simulator where you fly around or play as whatever you want all the time and don't work for stuff. I mean, survival is a giant time sink after all, and you're supposed to do things that um, limit your gameplay, but are limiting in a way that is fun and not impactful on your gameplay in a negative way. And having these sandbox servers up, obviously, one, uh, impacts game development, and two, um, impacts the bug reports that may go into the developers that they need to fix the game, but at the same time, the players are getting what they want. At least a portion of the community is. I'm not saying all players want sandbox servers. I'm not saying all players want progression servers. From the start of the aisle, I know players were really torn with um, between using progression and using sandbox when both features came out. And uh, I'm not, like, it's, it's such a weird situation to be in. Um, for the developers, because, like, they want the game to be played the way that it's supposed to be played. Guys, I basically, like, this is, this is gonna be such a weird, touchy video, because I, I'm in a position where I don't want to support, and I don't want to be against. I want to be in the neutral zone, so I think it's best if I just don't give my opinion on it. This video's been all over the place, and I apologize for that, but this is something serious that's going on in the aisle right now. Um, the community seems a little bit torn between playing on these sandbox servers, having what they want, having access to the database, being able to do the things they want to do, versus playing the game the way it's intended, and it seems like they're at odds with the developers right now by having servers like this up. But at the same time, I can't say that's entirely wrong for those people to do, because... The players want what they want at times. Now, I don't know how many people versus how many people want progression versus sandbox, but it's a serious issue, obviously, because the developers had to lock the lock the database down, and, and that didn't work because, well, somehow people are able to be quets right now. I have no idea how they do this stuff, but they, they do it. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to meet up with Riot now um, because he just got on Skype, and I was like, hey, dude, you should... Uh, should come over here and hang out. And, well, he's he's basically coming over now. Oh, my God, there's so many people. But, yeah, just give me your opinion on it. Tell me what you think about all of this, because there's there's just so much turmoil right now, and uh, it seems... I don't know. It's a really weird situation, and I feel for both sides. I feel for the developers who are trying to make the dream game and what will be the one of the best, if not the best, freaking dinosaur game of 2016-2017, and the people that want to play the game how they want to play it and have access to the database. So, um, you guys leave your opinion on that and, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I can't, I can't really say if I'm for or against anything. I have to be a neutral party in this because, like, I just, I want to get, I'd, I'd love to say give the players what they want, but at the same time it's going to impact development. And I know how good the Isle is going to be once it's done. And they can't really speed up development or do development correctly if people are able to access whatever they want. If they're altering the database, well then obviously it's causing issues for the developers and they're just not going to have a good time. But, leave your opinion down below, guys. Uh, this is all I can say on it. I don't want to go too in-depth with this. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go meet up with Riot. 
<laughs> we got a Quetzal Congo line. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> that is the greatest shit ever. We're gonna have giant dog fights and shit. No, actually, we're probably not because I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can hurt each other. I don't think we can do any kind of damage or anything at all. Where's this Juvie Rex? Trying to hit him, but he won't die. Come on, little guy, just take some damage. I can't hurt him? Are you serious? Oh, come on. No, you're not. I don't think we <laughs> everyone's attacking him and he can't die. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so apparently you can get hurt if you attack each other at the same time. I'm like a one-shot. Or not a one-shot. I'm at half health right now. I just died. Time. I just died. You just died? No way. <laughs> yeah, I straight up I died. I wonder where you went. <laughs> yeah. I got pecked. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize until it was too late. I just like instant imploded. Damn, son. Yeah, I want to get near that thing, but as soon as I get within like 30 feet of that pack of Quetzals, I can't even hear you anymore. <laughs> like I hear you perfectly loud and clear now, but once I get in there, it's just like horribleness. <laughs> I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test die bombs. So C was what killed me last time. C is like the land button. Yeah. Well, C is C is what me. makes you go down. Like it'll make oh, you. Yep. Yep. Kill me. Oh, it just makes you decrease in altitude. It's not yep. actually a land button. No. To land, you gotta like gently glide to the ground. Like you gotta hit it on a certain no, angle. Oh yeah. No. I just thought maybe it was like a, a doubly do. You know, you could get both for the price of one. Oh no, dude. There's Shit, no. I gotta come back. I gotta do the whole. You have to like spawn in as a herbivore taco, and then you become a. All right, buddy. So I can't spawn back in as a Quetzal. I can't spawn in as other creatures. The server's bugging out like crazy now. My last hope for survival. I just climbed the biggest mountain, jumped off, and now I just have a broken leg and nowhere to go. And full health, in fact. So I didn't even gain anything from that. But he's coming in right now, and Thomas coming in right now as a Quetzal to try and peck me to death. It's my last hope for survival. Where uh, where did you uh, say you were? My last hope for survival is to die. 112, 195. 112, 195. All right. Just stay where you are. I'm going to come down now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go really limping off on move, me. So, really can't move. So there's not much I can do. Dude, I can't wait to, like, honestly, we seem to have, like, a few large predators and then a Quetzal on the team, and all I used to do is, like, scout the area, find us food. It'd be so hard to hide from food now with Quetzals existing. Yeah, watch out for hypos. Anything. Like large predators, it's like sending out a little beacon to go find the food for you. And then like the hypo will kill it, and then you get to have some of the scraps of his food. You you protect each other, the circle of life. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, 112, 195. I'm almost there. I don't oh, see wait. you though. Nope, wait, nope. 112, 680. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so holy shit, you're so far. Alright, I'm gonna I'll be there in no time, actually. I'm a quetz. <laughs> One twelve six eighty. I misread the second number. <laughs> how do you miss? How do you misread it that bad? What I the shit? Yet, I'm hypoglycemic. That's how. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't eaten, so I can't read numbers. You get dyslexia every time you don't eat. No, I get hypoglycemic. Do you know what that means? Low I have. Blood I have sugar. no idea. Oh. Over here. Look at you, so mighty and graceful. I don't. I don't you're know. out of my misery. I don't know where the shit you are. I'm trying to find turn you, but right. you're like a turn right. You have to develop oh. eagle eyes if you're gonna be a flying creature, bro. You can't just be like walking around blind as a bat. All right, let me see I if Donnie can develop that for me. Creatures. All right. Do your worst, creature. Walk into my beach. You're hurting me. Do it again. Yes. Yes. Kill me. <laughs> Strike me down, How and you shall be stronger than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah, I'm at like half health now. Nice. Holy shit, that takes a lot of hits. I remember I used to three hit these things. Well, now you're just, now I'm just losing health without, there we go. There we go, peck at me. Clean yes. the meat from my bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost got it. Almost, almost there. Got it. One more bite, one more bite. There hey, we go. Good. Yeah, I'm going to eat your body. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. It's, oh, I thought it was going to roll down the hill forever. It is rolling down the hill. There we go. Finally, I can come in as a herbivore. I am a taco. You can't run from a Quetzal. I get like the Jurassic Park music every time I hear it. Yeah, it sounds like Jesus Christ is terrifying. It sounds like there's like <laughs> murderers in the woods. I'm getting out of here. I know, right? It actually sounds like a monkey. I don't know why. It does, like a baboon. Yeah. We're in the Amazon hey, hey, jungle. Who are these people down here? They're fighting a Juvie Rex. Yeah, see, the Juvie Rex, the baby Juvie. Yep. Where are you at? What's your cords? I'm at uh, negative 313.38 with the mosh pit. 
Dude, you could literally get across the map so damn fast like this. It's just hilarious. One of the quetzes are bleeding. What the hell? Damn, son. You know, we all PMS sometimes, and <laughs> nobody's perfect. It's going to be I a am. bitch once these things run out of stamina, though. I oh, no, it's not. Stay on mountain tops. They, won't, uh, they won't run out of stamina. Not right now, anyways. No, I know, but I'm saying, like, eventually, once they're updated enough and released, like, it's going to be... Actually, they do kind of run out of stamina now. Never mind, that's already last time I played as these. Like, yesterday, they were not, or like, two days ago, they were not home. Yeah, this guy is draining stamina. Damn. Look at that, every second we're in the air is another stamina point. Yeah, but you have, like, I a am, thousand stam, though. Yeah, and I am, like, sprinting. If I just glide, then you really don't use anything. You can just kind of glide straight forever. You could go get a snack, take a dookie, come back ten minutes later, and you'll be at your destination. Yep. Where are you guys? We are at negative 312.36. Oops, I overshot it like crazy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm here with a giant pool of quetzes. You won't miss us. Oh, there you are. Can't miss that. This is, God damn it, I wish Quetzals were already in the game. I'm so upset that, like, <laughs> soon there's a chance by the end of the day no one's going to be able to play as the Quetzal for a long time. Yep. I wish there was a lot of things in the game, dude. Oh my god, it's crazy. Seriously. Wish there was even half as much dinosaur sex in this game as there is an arc. <laughs> hey, Kieran found the group. What's going on, strangers? We're like trying to kill- I don't even think we can hurt this Juvie Rex. What the hell? Did I tell you that dynamic growing was in the game? You mean dynamic growing, like breeding and everything? No, uh, it, when you log in, you're like a, the baby version of whatever you log in as, and then you- you Fuck it, hit the ground! <laughs> Oh my god! I just watched that happen! Again it happens to me! How did you- How did Jesus you- Jesus Christ, that was ridiculous right there! Oh my god, that was great! Um, wait, so now when you spawn in the owl, you spawn in as the baby version of your creature? Yeah, and you dynamically grow and your stats increase over time and stuff like that. You get stronger as you survive for longer and stuff, and then you can progress- That's so amazing! Like, you'll start out as like a baby juvie rex, and then you'll grow into the full adult size of a juvie rex, and then you'll progress to the sub-adult, but you'll be like a tiny bit bigger than the uh, the juvie, because you're a baby sub-adult, and then you like grow into the sub-adult's full form, and then you progress again, and then you're like a baby Tyrannosaurus rex, and then you grow into the Tyrannosaurus rex adult form, increasing all your stats, obviously, as time goes on, until you get to your max with it, which is the adult size. And then you progress to the baby hyperendocrine rex, and then you grow based on there, but while you're a baby hypo rex like other rexes can take you on until you get to your That's adult insane. stage yep you're so get caught out for the people listening because it's very damn loud with all these quetzals but that is freaking insanity right there that makes me play the aisle so much more i know right like it's gonna mean so much more now when you progress to something because like you could be a rex and it doesn't mean everyone else could be a rex it means like you could meet a baby adult rex or something you know or, or someone that just became an adult rex that's really weak compared to you yeah like it's cool be amazing where are all the Quetzals? Half the Quetzals I'm seeing are like glitch dead Quetzals. We're uh, we're at the same spot where you died. There's a Juvie Rex like attacking us all. Where is it? I suppose I should just be able to find it down the beach. Yeah, I'll give you an invite so you can uh, you can see us again. The hell, everyone stop moving. Oh god, I think the server's crashing. This might be the end of days, dude. No, the server can't be crashing. Yeah, it's crashing right now. Everyone just the stood in one can't spot. Be crashing. Did it finally get taken down? Did we? Alright, so it seems we're having some issues with Skype, but that's perfectly fine because uh, we're still flying around and whatnot as the Quetz. Um, there's a ton of people in the air right now. Actually, the server seems like it's filling up even more now. Like, holy shit, there weren't this many Quetzes when we started out. Damn. Let's go ahead, move over here. Oh, God. I think the Quetz might be causing the lag, too, because I know the Quetz is a very buggy creature right now, and that's why it's now public for people to use. <laughs> there's so many. There's so many Quetzes, holy shit. We need, like, if we could damage each other and do dogfights, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be freaking awesome. But, it's not a thing right now. That kind of sucks. We can't really do damage to each other. Um, apparently if the Quetz attacks at the same time as it's being attacked, then it can take damage, just like the Nautobronto. The Nautobronto can take damage if it's attacking while, you know, it, or if it's attacked while it's attacking. So that's, that's kind of cool. But regardless, you guys, I think I'm going to end this video right here. We've seen the Quetz. We, uh, we've got to have a little conversation about what's going on with the aisle servers right now and the database and all that stuff. Guys, there's a lot of stuff happening right now and there's some rebelling and all that stuff with the servers. 
I don't want to give my point too much on it, or uh, my uh, my thoughts on it too much, because I mean, I w I'd rather remain neutral. I want to create like a hub where you guys can talk about it and and be voice or um, have your voices heard and stuff. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think are, are you for people fighting to have the game the way they want it, or are you for um, the developers enforcing uh, their what they want the game to be and how they want the game to be? Because on one side. It's like, you know, we want to have fun on our own terms. On the other side, it's we need you to play the game the way it's intended to be played so we can progress the game's development faster. Um, leave your comments on that, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It helps me out a ton, and I appreciate it a ton. If you're new to this channel, why not consider subscribing? And I will see you in the next video. Fight.